today's topic or subject of the day, which talks about why does it take so long? Why am I still working my nine to five? Why haven't I transitioned over to the business side, to my business, to doing this full time? Why haven't I done that? What's the deal with that? What's taking it so long? So before we do that, make sure you guys hit the like button, thumbs up, wherever you watching it at. Make sure you go ahead and do that for me before we get back into it. But let's roll the graphics first. You know how we got to do this. We got to do it. Let's go. to help you transition over to your business, the thing you really need to invest in is yourself. How much money are we spending on great copywriting for our website? How much money are we spending on great SEO for our website? How much money are we spending on advertising for our website? How much money are we spending on the platform for our website? How much money are we spending on ourselves to learn business, to learn how to show more value? Have we invested in the company vehicle? Like what are you doing outside of gear to help that transition happen faster. A lot of people think I'm missing gear to go into business. You can rent gear, you can't rent a website. You can't rent the knowledge it takes to know how to present a proposal to a big client. That's the part that people skim over and they think, oh, I'll figure it out. For a lot of people, and I said this before, if I brought Walmart to you right now and they wanted to do a video, a lot of people would lose it just in the communication, just not knowing what to do, where to go, what are the steps. And sometimes big companies like that land on your lap and people lose it. They lose those clients because they have no experience on how to actually close those clients. They'll scare those clients off. Those clients will be like, uh, something ain't right. So you wanna make sure that you are investing in the right thing to make that transition. All the gear in the world won't make you a production company. But if I gave you 10 red Komodos, you'd still be at home and you'll be at $60,000 in debt waiting on a client to call. You have to invest in the right stuff. Stop investing in gear. And I know it's hard to say it today. Now that we got all this great gear, new crap coming up, stop investing in gear. Stop it. Do not invest in gear for another two years. I dare you. And put that money into your business. Put that money into this, into your website, into your copy, into your marketing, and your transition will happen almost overnight. A year from now, you will be working for yourself full time, picking and choosing clients. Like, I don't think I want to work with you. I want to work with you. Your, your project look like fun. Everybody's, you know, paying exactly what you want. You just have the ability to be selective with who you work with. So get out of the gear porn, whatever they call it. I think that's the new name for it, the gear porn. Get out of that. Because those companies do a great job at making you feel like you need this to be adequate, right? Let me kind of twist it like this. Because that technique is used in other aspects of retail, right? Makeup, use it for women. If you have wrinkles, you're not cute. If you're not thin, you're not pretty. If your hair is not long, you're not attractive. In the photographer world, the videographer world, if you're not shooting 4K, you're in the past. If you don't have good autofocus, your camera's old. If you don't have a red ring around your lens, your, your lens is worthless. That's the same thing they're doing to you. You got to know the difference. Okay, let's go down a list of things that you should invest in before gear that will help you transition from working a nine to five to going full time in this business. One, you need to have a great website. When I say great website, I also mean great demo reel. If your demo reel's trash, sit down. You need to invest in great copy for your website, right? Professional writing to help explain to a client what you do and why and how it can help them. Why they need you, how it can help them. Let's talk benefits, not just features. Great content writers will understand the difference. Just because you write it don't mean nothing. Get you a professional copywriter. That's two. Um, you want to make sure the graphics and everything is up to par on your website. You want to make sure that your website is smooth. It runs well on mobile devices, tablets, and desktops. Those are things you want to worry about. You want to make sure that it does a great job turning 
leads into clients. You want to make sure you have your sales process in order. So understanding what needs to take place with the client to close the client. You want to make sure you have your deliverables in order. How do I deliver it to a client? How do I get feedback? You want to make sure you have all of that. This is what you need to invest in. Because if I give you eight Komodos right now and I get Walmart on the phone and they're saying, yeah, we need some shot. You're like, uh, 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 our budget is 300,000. We need this shot. Uh, then you calling me like, what do I do, Ty? So this is what you should invest in. Get you some business books. Get you some entrepreneur books. I have a bunch listed on the website as far as books that I like and I've recommend that will kind of walk you through it. You need to invest in understanding that part. It's way more important than the gear. Again, like I said, those gear companies do the same thing makeup companies do, car companies do. You're not, you're not successful if you don't have a Mercedes Benz. Canon does the same thing. You're not a real videographer if you're not shooting 8K, if you're not shooting 50 megapixels. You're not a real creator if you don't go out and buy the latest and greatest MacBook. It's the same thing. You don't need all of that. I ran a company off two A6500s for years. I sold my Blackmagic production 4K cameras to go to an A6500, and my quality improved. And I stuck with that camera and as long as I could because I wanted to learn it and get comfortable with exposing and getting the right skin tones and understanding the color. And, and I just focused on growing my business. And that is what took me to the point where them A6500s paid for jibs, dollies, cranes. They paid for a lot of stuff. Again, if your camera right now is not paying for the next camera, if you got to go to work to pay for that next camera, you shouldn't be upgrading. Your camera should pay for the next two cameras. My A6500 paid for the next two cameras. If you are working in a nine to five so you can dump money to buy gear, you're doing it wrong because you should only have to do that one time. Content is the new crack. If you got to work a nine to five to buy crack to sell and you sell it, you still got to go back to work. You're not a drug dealer like that. You're not a good drug dealer. That's common sense. You know what I'm saying? With any investment, if you got to go back to work after making a significant investment that should triple and quadruple, you're not doing it right. 90% of what I do does not involve a camera. Camera is just a 10%. I'll show up and shoot that for free. Like Allen Iverson said, they pay me to practice. I play for free. They pay me to send out contracts to do the negotiating, to come up with the game plan, to create the itinerary. I show up and film for free. I love it. It's exactly like that. Being an entrepreneur is a life change. The people around you will change. Your business will change. Your pockets will change. There's a lot of aspects to that, though. And it comes to support system and things like that, like having the right support system and people in place and understanding what you have now. In this course, I talk about looking at what you have. Do you have the right people in place to go? And what is it going to take? Because a lot of it is mental. A lot of it is mental support system, family, you know, and it ain't just financial. A lot of people think, oh, it's just about the money. I need to save 20000 No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't need to say that's just an excuse people use. People can't fathom saving twenty thousand dollars. Like it's just hard to do, and they know it's unobtainable. And in their mind, as long as they feel like they're striving for it, they're doing the right thing. But they know they'll never get a clean twenty grand in their bank account so that they can step out on so-called faith to now go start this business. You can do it. In fact, I, doing it broke will give you more drive than doing it with a ton of money. With a ton of money, you may sleep in. Doing it broke, you got to get your ass up. You got to get up and you got to go get it. Broke with the lights half off, you got to get up. $20,000 in the bank, you can sleep in an extra 10 minutes. It's not happening when you broke. And when you want to be successful, as much as you want to breathe, you will be successful. Being broke teaches you that. Being hungry makes you grind. It makes you read that book. It makes you say, what am I not getting? My channel really is designed to keep you as far away from that as possible. It's designed to teach you everything I taught when I got eviction notices and repo mans knocking on my door. That's literally people are like, well, where did you, how did you learn all this stuff, Ty? I was broke. I was hungry. I had to make choices in my life. I had to sell a lot of gear that I promised myself I would go get back when I become more successful. And I had to understand what's working and what's not. This is working and this is not. Let's take, let's look at analytics every single day. What's working and what's not? Well, I got a, a whole Ronin gimbal that's collecting dust in my closet that I spent $3,000 for that I haven't used but twice in my life, and it's not working. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got it, but how is it helping me? It's not. It got to go. So I can take that money and put it into something that's working. Okay, I did a pay-per-click advertisement. Okay, I got one lead. I got a client off that. Okay, I need to take that $3,000, and I need to put that over here. I got lenses that I'm not using. 
gosh, I got to pay rent. I need another month to survive so that I can focus on growing this. I need to take this out and put this over here. When was the last time I used a macro lens? I don't know. I'm selling that. That got to go. Put it on Craigslist. When you go into business, it's a different animal. It's that hustler mentality. It's a different animal. It's a different way of living. It's a survival mode that some people just have not experienced because they've had it so great, so cush, so cool their whole life. They've had a meal to eat their whole life. When you got kids looking at you, Christmas rolling around, birthdays rolling around, and they looking at you like, Dad, I want this. And you're like, how am I going to do that? It's a whole different beast. And once you learn how to harness that hunger, once you learn how to take that and it let it fuel you, even though you have you're comfortable. It's a superpower you will learn to harness. Think about it like, you know, you ever watch the superhero movies where they, they learn that they have a power and they go see Professor X and Professor X help them mold that power? I'm your Professor X. You all are my mutants in my school with all these powers and abilities. And I'm just trying to help you harness that power to do something great. Because you have the power. You just, you got to just figure out how to shape it and use it. My goal is to help you shape it into something that is, that benefits your life. So that's for me what I had to do. This hunger that I have of success and being great, like how do I use that to take it to the next level? My goal was never to be in front of the camera. I like being behind the camera. But that hunger was like, get in front of the camera. You know, turn that YouTube channel, get away from doing reviews and talk to people about things they can really use. I didn't start this journey the way you see it now. I started this journey as something else and that hunger allowed me to mold that into what you see now. And my goal with courses and everything I teach is to help you skip over the part where you're ducking creditors. Everything I teach is designed to help you skip that part. It's designed to help you go straight into win mode. But if you don't take the business part serious, nothing else will matter.